Hello, fellow December Daily collaborators. Um, I thought as we're approaching um, a new season of December Daily that I'd share um, a mini album that I made in 2011 before I even knew what a December Daily was. So this book was inspired um, by Blue Moon Scrapbooking and um, they have a wonderful website with, and they always share ideas with what to do with products. And uh, this was a class that I took on that site. So I wanted to share it with you. I did use sewing, which was a landmark occasion for me on this book. And I, it's a three ring. Uh, as you can see, I put ribbon on the outside. We did distressing on the cover. Uh, also some tearing uh, with some background. Um, at the time I was using um, the liquid pearls and used some twine as you can see and some transparency snowflakes. It looks to me like something has fallen off the center of my snowflake, but that can easily be fixed. And as you can see, uh, lots of stamping as well. So uh, this was just a fun project and it's one of my favorites to go back over. I also used a lot of Melissa Francis. Um, cards at the time she uh, had so many vintage items that I had collected and so I was using my stash and uh, I really enjoy the vintage look of these and I just did some hand journaling in a variety of places and added different sizes which I um, tend to forget and I love the look and now it's a uh, something used very frequently by people. I added one of my homemade cards from a card kit that I had. And because card making um, is a big part of my uh, December. And on this page, uh, we had attended the Abilene Philharmonic. And so I wanted to be sure and put um, a um, violin there and uh, the cover of their brochure and uh, the name of that presentation, the Christmas Pops, I went with a friend of mine. And so this was day three, and there's my ticket. And there's a picture of the conductor's hands. Uh, this page I particularly like because it has a vellum envelope, which you know I didn't know about. And I um, wrapped some twine around it, and inside are gift tags. So if you need gift tags during the season, they're right there in your December daily book. Um, I also went to an Advent Fair on the 4th of December. I have a doily behind the uh, vellum envelope, which you can just barely see. It's inked a little bit. Um, the next page, um, day five, I have, um, I had to talk about uh, Christmas books because I, as you can see, instead of a tree skirt, I always put children's Christmas books around the tree. Uh, having been an early childhood teacher, I have many, 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 and um, I'm enjoying them with my family and grand and grandsons at the moment. Grandson. Um, I also put the names of some of my favorites, the Polar Express, of course, Emma's Christmas, Twas the Night Before Christmas, Yes, Virginia, and um, enjoyed, you know, thinking about what my favorite children's books were. Um, a little journaling on an, just an index card that I used and decorated. Um, I should have learned from that. How cheap is that? <laughs> Here we go with uh, some yummy food. And this is actually a peppermint uh, paper that is covered in vellum. I love that vellum. It, it crinkles. Sounds great. Uh, here is day six, which is checking it twice. Um, as you can see, more Melissa Francis uh, little tags there with a, a skate uh, ephemera and more twine. Love that twine. Um, these were some of the gifts that I was giving others. Um, bunko buddies, we were playing bunko and so I had to uh, write a little bit about being with my friends at bunko. We always had a, a really fun time doing that together. And that was on the 7th and I even have a little a bingo uh, wooden piece here. And uh, so that that uh, is lots of fun. Another Melissa Francis. Here on this page, I have uh, a picture, an old picture of my husband 
and myself then and now. And that was in 2011. And I cherish pictures of him. Uh, definitely. Here we are at a Christmas dance, and which was always our favorite activity every year. Um, and writing some more about how I, much I enjoy corresponding with friends with Christmas cards. Um, just a postcard of Melissa Francis that I decorated and journaled on. Another Santa. And this is my son and daughter-in-law joined us for the dance set here. So much fun. And Bill's mother and uh, friends. Just a wonderful time. And then on the 11th, um, I actually that year got a new Kia. So I had to mention that, that we were looking at those cars. Um, here I've written some more about the dance and other activities that we're doing on the 10th and the 11th of December. We went to a Christmas party. Um, I had to talk about one of my just very dear friends and uh, just described her and talked about how much I enjoy her. Here is a fun little embellishment. It's a little just regular paper sack with a wooden snowflake and some lace. Uh, I love the angles of it. And that was inspired by Blue Moon Scrapbooking once again. And here is some uh, stickles and snowflakes and just, just fun things. And you can put, once again, you can put tags or anything that you, any keepsakes in the little bag. Okay. And on day 13, um, I had some activities at church, and so I just uh, recorded some information about that. On the 14th, um, some information about uh, the Advent Fair and how my friend Kay and myself uh, shared the skill of card making with some kiddos uh, during that fair. And this talks about Christmas carols, and of course I could list my favorites on there which I should have done and can still do. Uh, the 15th, there's um, our little foster dog who was precious, all decked out in his little uh, uh, plaid. And uh, just, just talking about visiting with some friends on Christmas, uh, trying to give them a little bit of happy. And um, this was my friend's dog that we adopted while she was in the nursing home. And then here's Miss Molly another dog of ours, and um, this actually is Maxwell. That's our third dog. So at the times that we had Buttons, our little foster dog, we had three dogs. Boy, our lives were pretty exciting. So the book goes on, and I'll just share a little bit more. Or it'll be too long. This is page 17, and this is when we all got together to um, uh, pack uh, to share some cookies, a cookie exchange. And that was that was great fun with friends. And here my mother is, um, looks like opening, oh, she's opening a martini glass because she loves martinis. She's 97 now, so I think they've served her well. She's darling, so it's still so spunky. And so I, oh, I love these pictures of her. Um, and I don't get to see her often enough. But there's December 18th, and she lives on the lake, and there's another picture of my husband at the lake, and my mother is, is um, shall we say, giving him suggestions on where she wants her lights. <laughs> and here they're high-fiving each other because they managed to do it without, uh, uh, with Christmas cheer, <laughs> with Christmas cheer. And I still have room for journaling there, which I need to tell that story. Here, my mother's dog and Maxwell are very excited about what my mother is opening. We went to her house early this year. Um, I'm just gonna share a few other pages here that you might be interested in. This one was for writing and the importance of writing and it's something that uh, I hold dear. And so I made a page that said, write it. And I have a show a little, little girl, very vintagey, sitting by candlelight writing. Um, here is some of that, do you remember this decoration? You know, how fun is that? And just zigzag on it. 
just just a little uh, funky ribbon that makes for a pretty page. And one of my favorite pages, the 22nd at the Gaylord Texan, Kissing My Love. Um, I'll always cherish that. And then here we have <clears throat> some more journaling spots. And I love this one. This one has a little uh, Christmas Pied Piper. And I have the magic of music. And we're at the Gaylord Texan taking fun pictures. Uh, just thoroughly enjoying our time. Carols, being with family. Um, there's another page with family. And of course, I think we open packages uh, repeatedly every year. And uh, so that is always frequent. And it's always my son's birthday on December 24th. So we have him opening a special package. More pictures of family and cooking. And then of course, Merry Christmas the 25th. This was a friend of my son's who was very special to us that year. And little angel and just, ah, uh, this is just so fun to look back on. And here we have our Mimi with our friend Riam. And here we have the 26th and 27th. Now I get into some Christmas cards from special friends and family. And there is my brand new red Kia and my husband putting my new license plate on. So that had to be documented. And more Christmas cards. And there's the 31st. Here's the end of the book with family. And I just put this beautiful card at the back. And I thought it was so pretty. And once again, more Christmas cards from family and friends. What a treasure. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, to make it shabby, I stitched around the cover and on some of the pages inside. And I really thank Blue Moon Scrapbooking for making this one of my very special treasures of our family together. And so I hope you enjoyed it.